everybody this is Kim I will apologize in advance if you hear bugs in the background I am NOT in DC but these cicadas got a lot to say today anyway today I'm going to talk to you about Lieutenant Willa Brown who was another one of the females who was part of the Tuskegee Airmen she was born in 1906 to a Native American mother and a black father her parents moved the family to Indiana because they had integrated schools and they felt like that would offer the kids better educational opportunities. Willow was a really good student and once she got out of high school, she enrolled in what's now known as Indiana State University and got her bachelor's in business when she was 21. She was a hard worker. She had a position as a teacher. She was a post office clerk. She was a lab assistant. She was a social worker. Eventually she moved to Chicago and she got her MBA from uh, Northwestern University. Chicago is really where Willa's love for aviation began. She was fascinated with the legacy of Bessie Coleman, who had to go get her pilot's license in France because the pilot uh, flying schools in America wouldn't accept her. Willa was really intrigued by the mechanics and the thrill of flying. She started taking aviation lessons at the Chicago segregated uh, Harlem Field from John Robinson and Cornelius Coffrey, I always mess up that name, Coffrey, uh, and they were two key figures in black aviation history at that time. She also attended their aeronautical university. She excelled in the classes, she got a master's certificate in uh, mechanics in 1935, and a pilot's license three years later. So that actually made her the very first black woman in America to do that. She was a very strong civil rights advocate, and she always encouraged the black community in Chicago to embrace aeronautics. She later married her instructor, Mr. Coffrey, and they founded the Coffrey School of Aeronautics there in Chicago. They were the first black owned private flight training academy. After a lot of work, the school actually became part of the CPTP, the Civilian Pilot Training Program, and she was named a federal coordinator for the program there in Chicago. Now, the school wasn't allowed to train uh, pilots for the Army, but they were chosen as one of the schools to provide black trainees for the pilot program at Tuskegee. Now, in a couple episodes back, we did talk about how President Roosevelt had implemented in 1939 the Civilian Pilot Training Program, which allowed organized uh, schools and um, universities that already had existing pilot programs to train black pilots. And a couple episodes back, we also talked about Miss Mildred Hemmons Carter, who was the very first black woman to be a part of that pilot program. Well, now Miss Willa Brown, she was directly responsible through her training uh, school for training over 200 future airmen and instructors. So in 1942, she became commissioned as a lieutenant. She became the first black officer in the Civil Air Patrol. Soon after that, she did earn her mechanics license, which then made her the first American woman, not just black woman, to have both a commercial pilot's license and a mechanics license. After World War II, uh, Will and Cornelius closed the aeronautics school and then they divorced, but she continued her political, messed up my words, political engagement and became the first black woman to run for Congress. She ended up dying in 1996, and she's buried in Lincoln Cemetery, which is the same resting place as her hero, Miss Bessie Coleman. So that is today's Black History Fact about Lieutenant Willa Brown. If you like the content, lean down and get my sign. Black B for You on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, if you like this jacket that I have on, this is the Tuskegee Airmen Windbreaker. You can also get this online at blackbeforeyou.com. Empowering our future by honoring and preserving our past. Thank you so much. This is Kim. Have an amazing day.